All right. I figured I'd make another video uh, on Benny because someone has asked me a couple times and I apologize for fucking slacking. But yeah, Benny's looking freaking awesome. I was checking it out a few days ago and like this little pattern here is like, was such a nice consolidation pattern. When you see that, that's usually a good thing. And it went on since August 5th. Like the same, same with the uh, Crody I was just talking about. It, it had a similar pattern going. But this is like even more solid consolidation than that one. It uh, couldn't really pick a direction to go in. It wasn't really in an uptrend. It wasn't really on a downtrend. It was just consolidating. But on a bigger scale here, there was this falling wedge since July 6th. So like almost two months ago. And at the end of it, there was this divergence here. It wasn't like a full on divergence, but you can see that this yellow line is showing price action going sideways. And then the RSI here is showing the momentum going upwards. Maybe I should look at it on the day, the day chart. Let's see what we got going on on the day chart. You can see that Oh wow, you can see the divergence on the day chart a lot more, actually. So here's another bullish divergence. Probably my favorite thing to look out for, to know when a reversal is coming. But you can see the trend of this RSI. And then see the trend from the same price action right there. So you can see it starting way back here. In July yeah like here on July 20th it would have been showing that divergence so that that's like a huge heads up like almost a month yeah it is a month that's a month heads up just telling you hey people are not selling this anymore and it's gonna fucking pull a reversal and you better keep your eye on this RSI and price action or you're gonna miss out any showing an overbought RSI, but at the same time, it's not showing any sort of bearish divergence. So it could keep going up. Volume's low though, so that's the only thing. It's just gonna take one shithead to come in here and drop like a huge bag. But <clears throat> hopefully that doesn't happen because nobody was doing it around here and we got this wedge here too. <clears throat> if it plays out, it should, spike all the way up to a uh, million dollar market cap so but yeah we just gotta hope no shithead drops his bag on us and it continues to play out yeah and like if that wedge doesn't break out and it doesn't go all the way up to a million and like some shithead does sell some of his benny and we come back down i really don't see us going below this yellow line anyways so just based on the consolidation here that's been happening over the last three weeks. Also, they got a new website too, apparently. I'm pretty sure. I think someone told me that. So go check out their new website. It looks fucking sweet. Yeah, that's Benny. Let's check out the holders on Benny. Yeah, so we've got some pretty decent high conviction holders here too. So top 10, all holding over $6,000 worth. Number two holder. $25,000 in his wallet. Um, let's see. Number three holder, $12,000 in his wallet. I want to see when he was buying. Yeah, so he's buying all the way down to a uh, $900,000 market cap and then kind of stop. But he's, he's holding. He hasn't sold any since uh, five... What, what, $500,000 market cap? Okay, so he sold some way back here in July, but then he bought back in, so maybe needed that money for something and then bought back in. But yeah, he has not sold at all since then. And uh, let's see, uh, number three holder. He last bought $1,000 worth about a month ago when it was at four hundred and ninety thousand dollar market cap so this guy is a uh, high conviction and wow 
It looks like he bought a shitload here, didn't sell any at anywhere near the all-time high, and then bought even more when it bottomed out again. Now that is a... Uh, well, that's an OG right there. <laughs> that's an OG right there. Look, he bought it right before it fucking shot up, and he didn't even sell. And then he waits for it to come all the way down, doesn't sell any, and then he buys more. What a fucking G. Whoever you are, you're a good man. <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's see who this guy is. Oh yeah, he's got a pretty fat wallet, 82 grand, 46,000 in Brett, almost 12,000 in Benny, Trump coin, I don't think I've even heard of that. Cool. So yeah, this guy knows what he's doing obviously because he's got such a big wallet. So yeah, just knowing people like that are holding Benny just keeps my conviction high. If the community stays strong and they keep doing what they're doing, I think this thing could fly to like hundreds of millions, maybe half a billion, 500 million market cap. That'd be a thousand X from here. Not bad, you throw in a thousand dollars right now and it goes to that, you have a million dollars. So, think about that. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now because I'm just kind of rambling, but yeah. Time to accumulate and stack that Benny. Stack that Benny. All right, farewell.